long been told that the gold standard life-saving tool for protecting us from the ravages of breast cancer is regular mammograms. And so powerful is the pro-mammogram lobby that we've come to believe that if we do not have regular mammogram x-rays, we are irresponsible as well as at high risk of dying of cancer. This is quite simply not true. And in no way can mammography be considered a risk-free procedure. Far from it. Mammography relies on powerful ionizing radiation, which can actually cause cancer. One mammogram delivers the radiation equivalent of 1,000 chest x-rays into your body. Each year in the United States, an amazing $4 billion is spent on overdiagnosis and false positives in relation to mammography results. In fact, false positive results are known to be as high as 56% in a woman who has undergone 10 mammograms. Meanwhile, the physical and emotional damage of any woman having to live through, quote, false positive diagnosis can unnecessarily fill her life with fear. Recently, a massive study on mammography involving 90,000 women studied for 25 years concluded that mammography have absolutely no effect on mortality rates. The New York Times reported, and I quote, one of the largest and most meticulous studies of mammography ever done involving 90,000 women and lasting a quarter of a century has added powerful new doubts to the value of the screening tests for women of any age. It found that the death rates from breast cancer and from all causes were the same in women who got mammograms and those who did not. And the screening had harms. One in five cancers found with mammography and treated was not a threat to the woman's health and did not need treatment, such as chemotherapy, surgery, or radiation, unquote. Okay, in another study earlier on, researchers at Dartmouth in the United States wanted to find out how often lives are actually saved by mammography. They examined breast cancer data from the National Cancer Institute and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They discovered that the probability of a mammogram saving a life is well below 25%. They concluded that, quote, most women with screen-detected breast cancer have not had their lives saved by screening. They are instead either diagnosed early with no effect on their mortality or overdiagnosed, end of quote. Personally, I've never had a mammogram. Why? Well, because my gut feeling has always said no. And this was long before a massive accumulation of clinical evidence began to show up indicating that the 30 kVp range of so-called low-energy radiation used in breast screenings is up to 400% more damaging to human DNA, and for that read 400% more carcinogenic, than the so-called high-energy radiation which it's often compared to. Personally, I would stay away from mammography in any shape or form. How do you protect yourself from cancer naturally? Well, this is a really important question. This is what I'll be covering in next week's video class. Do join me then.